y'all. Got my load for tomorrow. I got a three compartment tank. That means I got some product in this tank. That's one spot up under there. I got some product in this tank. That's some product, that's a spot right there to unload from. And I got a spot up in this tank. It's not hazardous load, it's a non-hazardous load. But uh, it's ready to ride. I got three different products. This tank got to be set at a certain temperature. The second tank got to be set at a certain temperature. And the third tank got to be set at a certain temperature. So that's the reason of the three different products. Uh, I don't have any hazardous placards, like I said, because it's a non-hazardous load. Uh, these black hoses right here on the side of this tank is for the crash box up top. It's called a crash box. So when it rains and the water gets in it, those hoses drain off. I'm going to climb up here and I'm going to kind of show y'all what the crash box looks like. You got three different crash boxes up here. You got a crash box right here. That's sealed and placarded. Uh, these, all these loads right here are air off loads. You hook the air hose right here. You pressurize the tank and you push the product off. If too much air get into it, you have a pressure release valve. The pressure release valve releases the air from the tank when it gets too much uh too much air too much pressure in it these are pressure relief valves uh these are only washout covers you know when you're in route you want to make sure they're tight so you don't want to have your spill see a lot of trailers got a lot of spill going down the sides of them that's because these dog legs on this vent top it's not tight. Uh, this is tank two. Same deal. You air up here or you air up here. I air up on this side because I can watch my gauge and it can tell me how much is air is being pumped into this tank. Uh, same setup, same deal. Pressure relief valve, if too much air get into the tank, they pop out, they release air. Uh, these are clean outs like for the tank wash and things like that or you can actually load from here but the chemical plants they pop these they pop this uh, dome open and they load from that these black hoses like I say they run on both sides of the tank it's for when it's raining and the water that's being trapped in it uh, this is a third tank this is the same setup same deal you always want to check your dog legs Make sure they are tight because you don't want to be going down the road products flashing back and forth and you spilling product. Uh, same setup. Uh, this little piece right here, this is a vent. This vents the product. It vents the vaporizes the vapor from the product that you carry. Uh, We're going to go down. And I'm going to show you how the front of the tank looks. Sorry about my camera work. But I'm just trying to show you how it, go, how it goes. Okay, y'all. This is the front of the tank. This is how it looks in the front. Uh, some tanks I pull, they have a valve here and a valve on the other side. That's for in heat transit. Uh, in heat transit means uh, these hoses I got on the back of my truck right here. These two hoses, they hook up to those uh, valves and they keep heat and they keep heat coming through the tank. Sometimes the customer wants the product to stay at a certain temperature. That's when you put those hoses on, and it, and it, it pushes uh, uh, coolant from the engine through the tank back through the engine like in a circular motion. This is a snap-off valve. 
This is if you unload and you got a big spill or anything and you're on this side of the tank, you just want to snatch this and snap that piece off and shut down the internal valve that's in the tank. You got internal valves in each tank. They pop up, they let the product out. We're going to go under because I'm not going to walk around. But to release, these are your release valves for each tank. This is tank one. This is tank two. This is tank three. Uh, you want to spin it down. You want to pump this hydraulic pump right here. As you pump this hydraulic pump, the internal valves in the tank, they pop open. And they put product in the line. In each line. This tank one, this tank two, this tank three. Uh, this is the same. You want to put this up. Uh, you want to pump your products in there. Uh, you release this and it drops back down. It, 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 it slams it shit if you got a leak and you're on this side of the tank. This is also the same thing. Just snatch this off. If your pump go down while you while you pump it out, you break this off and it slams the, the, the internal valve shit in each tank. Uh, in all the tanks, actually. Uh, it stops the product flow. Uh, Basically, that's it right now. I'm at the truck stop because my load don't deliver till in the morning. Uh, I can get it there if I want and just hang out. But why camp out at the customer when I can use the truck stop as far as food, uh, as far as food and, 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 and bathroom and things of that nature. Uh, this is my saddle box. Uh, what's in my saddle box is my different fittings that I put poses to. Uh, sometimes the customer might have a two-inch fit, uh, a two-inch line that's applying their tanks, and those are three inches. This is a three-inch valve right here. This is a three-inch valve. So I want to convert it down to a two-inch. I use those fittings, and I convert it down, and I hook up with these hoses right here. This is my own air hose. I use this hose to air off the tank. Uh, I use this right here. This is my live air. Uh, I can pump air from my truck to those tanks to air it off. But uh, nine times out of ten, the customer has their own air. Uh, this is called a PTO pump right here. This is a PTO pump. The top runs from you run from the top part of the PTO. You run it all the way back to this connection right here in each tank, and so on. You run it from here to the top. You run the bottom is the outlet that runs directly to the customer tank or whatever they pumping into. Uh, you run a hose from there, you run a hose from your tank, you crank your PTO up, you get inside, you crank your PTO up. As you crank your PTO up, uh, you want to flood the lines and you want to make sure you will have no air in your line. So you crank this pump, the more you crank this pump, the more pressure you get to the PTO and the PTO actually pumps the product out of the tank to the customer uh, you pump off all red placard loads this is not a placard load a red placard load is a flammable load you want to pump out all flammable loads you don't want to put compressed air to them because first of all you put oxygen what causes the fire a spark compressed air and oxygen oxygen uh, compressed air causes a spark and it also has oxygen in the air so you would create a fire and you don't want to do that but uh, that's just a little something of what I'm toting right now. Uh, I tote different products, things of that nature. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna try to get rid of the video on of what's going on. But uh, that's what we do, man. That's how we do it, right there. That's how you haul hazmat. That's how you pull a tanker. There's a lot more to it. After I break down, uh, after I get down somewhere and uh, pull my hoses down off the truck, I'll give you some more video. But until then, man, y'all brothers and sisters, man, uh, peace out.